This week, Today co-anchor Dylan Dreyer announced that she is pregnant with her second child. And this comes after she and her husband tried for three years and also endured a miscarriage. Her struggle to get pregnant again is referred to as secondary infertility. It's a condition that affects about 3 million women in the United States and 10% of all couples. And joining me now is Dr. Marsha Lachaud from Memorial Hospital and OBGYN. Thanks so much for being with us Good this to be morning. Here. Now, I think a lot of us know people who have experienced this. It is so common because you get pregnant the first time and you think, oh yeah, no problem the second time. Why does this happen? I mean, it could be from a multitude of factors, um, anything from, you know, um, sperm, mis um, in excuse me, um, sperm motility dysfunctions um, to decrease sperm count. But then on the women's end, it could be complications from the first pregnancy, um, you know, decrease in viable eggs. And it's really important to follow up with your doctor um, just to kind of you know, get testing done and see exactly why these things are happening. And I would imagine age has a lot to do with it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. As we age, I mean, as women age, um, they do have less eggs that are, um, you know, viable, um, and that decreases their chances of getting pregnant in the future. And because you may have a child in your 20s and then you want to have one in your 30s and there is a difference in fertility between your 20s and 30s, isn't mm -hmm. there? Yes, yes, absolutely. As we age, unfortunately, it's one of those things that, you know, it can get harder and harder for us to um, achieve a, a successful pregnancy. And I know a lot of people feel like, um, well, I look young, I'm in great shape, I'm in good physical condition, I don't smoke, so I shouldn't have any trouble getting pregnant but it's really boils down to the age of the eggs. Exactly, exactly, yes. And once you're out of them, you're out of them. That's it. What, now, what are some of the newer things that um, specialists are trying these days, or even your own OBGYN can try to help with uh, secondary infertility? Um, we do have medications in terms of general OBGYN that we can give patients to help with um, ovulation, um, but usually if those things don't work, then we send you to a um, reproductive um, endocrinologist, an infertility specialist, and they're able to do things like, you know, artificial insemination, um, IVF, and things like that. Now, I remember hearing that people would say, well, you need to give it two years before you really um, seek help, but that's not necessarily the case anymore. No, no. Six at what months. point, if you've been trying for a while, at what point should you be talking to your doctor? Probably around six month mark. Six mm -hmm. months, yes. especially for secondary. Yes, yes. And can your OBGYN do something like prescribe Clomid? Is that something that a general? Yes. So um, as general OBGYNs, uh, we do prescribe medications like Clomid to help you ovulate and see if um, you're able to get pregnant that way. Okay. And then IVF is always um, an option to consider anyway. And that's mm -hmm. something that you would need to go to a specialist exactly, for. Exactly, exactly. Uh, what do you, do you recommend that women come to you immediately to their OBGYN if they sense that there, there may be an issue and just not wait? I, I think that establishing care with an OBGYN would be the best thing to do. Um, so we can look at other things like, you know, obesity. We can look at, you know, your um, um, ovulation um, and things like thyroid dysfunction and other things that could be outside of the reproductive um, organs that could cause infertility. And I think bottom line too, it's always important not to smoke. Absolutely, yes, smoking is never a good idea. And keep yourself healthy that way. Mm -hmm. Dr. Lachaud, thank you so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate your insight. Thank you for having me.